Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to get done that uh, carrot planting video I promised you we'd do. We're going to show you how we do our carrot soil mix, and uh, we'll get a, get some carrot seed out here, and we'll get some fall carrots planted, and we'll show you guys how we do it. So uh, hang on there, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we're about to get neck deep into these carrot boxes back here. So uh, hang on. We got some uh, great footage. We're going to try to show you how not only how we prepare our beds, but how we plant our carrots for fall and for spring. But uh, we'll go ahead and get into that footage now, and uh, we hope you enjoy the video. Okay, guys, we're out here to start up this uh, carrot bed video and uh, how we make our soil and how we plant our carrots. But I wanted to start with... Uh, little section here that uh, these beds are laid down in layers. It's a bad time right after we've picked carrots to try to show those layers to you, but we'll show you how we build them into the bed. But uh, hopefully in the carrot harvesting video, you guys saw that the perlite wasn't necessarily on the surface and that it was being pulled up as she pulled the carrots. You couldn't really see that much of it. It looked, you know, the surface looked more like this and then when she started pulling carrots, it started looking more and more like this. But uh, we'll show you how we build those layers in, how they all work, and we'll talk about that a little bit more here in a second. We're going to move over to the bed next to it. And I'll tell you that the first step is just to get the soil leveled out, and uh, we'll get ready to start building a new layer. Okay, guys. Our carrot growing medium starts by combining the layers from last year with the new layers that we're going to create this year. So what we've done is we've pulled all the carrots out and it pulled some of the perlite to the top, but we've given it a good mix and we've gone ahead and flattened that out and we're going to start by first we have to correct what's already here and then we'll put a top layer on it. But this is the medium where your carrots are actually going to grow. The top layer is for planting. But this is where your carrots are going to grow, so this is where we're going to start working on the process. All right, guys, the first thing we're going to add is perlite. And as you can see, and we've said before, the carrot soil mix is about 50% perlite, and you can see how thick it is through there. But perlite breaks down over time, so we want to make sure that we have good fresh perlite in there and a high percentage of it. So. We'll go ahead and get that put on the box, and we'll show you that here in a second. All right, guys, the first thing we're going to do is we've got that whole bag of perlite put on here, and we're going to go ahead and spread it out before we mix it in. And by spreading it out, that'll kind of ensure that we don't get more in one area than another. But uh, you just go ahead and spread your perlite out, and then uh, we're going to go ahead and get it mixed in, and uh, we'll show you that here in just a second. Okay, guys, what Tina's doing here is she's using the Hori Hori, and she's working the perlite down as deep as the full length of the Hori Hori. But uh, you want to get that good and deep. We've got to keep the soil, soil uh, nice and soft, as deep as you expect the carrots to grow. We grow some big carrots. But I'll move around here so we can see what she's doing. But uh, we grow some big carrots, so we like our soil nice and soft, deep. You can see some of that some of the tan perlite coming up. That's older perlite that's absorbed a bunch of nutrients and stuff, but it's breaking down and it's mixing with the soil. So that's why we got to go ahead and keep it. We always got to keep adding new perlite to the bed, but it's an inert substance. It's a kind of glass formed in volcanoes, almost almost like obsidian, but uh, it uh, it's good stuff. And we like to keep it, it keeps the soil nice and loose. It helps hold some moisture, helps hold some nutrients. But uh, it also allows the bed to drain and breathe. So we'll, uh, we'll be back here when she gets this mixed in. All right, guys. The next thing any root crop needs is phosphorus. And we're using bone meal as our source of phosphorus. That's a three-pound bag she has. You probably saw that in our other video for our other soil. But we're going to put the entire three pounds on this three-by-five box. That's 15 square feet. So you got about one pound for every five square feet. But uh, we'll go ahead and put that 
you really can't burn a plant with it and all root crops need phosphorus so we'll go ahead and uh, we'll get this on here and we'll get that mixed in real quick and then we'll uh we'll come right back but uh you need you need the phosphorus all root crops do we're uh, going to put on very very little nitrogen and i'll explain that here in a minute but uh so far we're up to uh perlite and phosphorus so we'll be right back All right, guys, we've covered in some of the other soil building videos that uh, the phosphorus and calcium that's in the bone meal can't be utilized by the plants without magnesium. So we're going to be using Epsom salt as our source of magnesium. The team is going to throw on you know, four, five, six handfuls of Epsom salt. It really doesn't, uh, it's not an exact science, but uh, um, we'll go ahead and uh, She's got the bed pretty well covered here, but uh, next step is just like with the perlite. This is this is what we want the carrots to eat. We want them to uh, we want them to utilize the phosphorus to grow a root. So we need the phosphorus down deep in the bed, and uh, that'll also help turn that perlite the rest of the way in, and it'll get that uh, magnesium down to the bed too. But uh, we'll go back over this bed and get it dug in deep, and then we'll uh, come right back to you. Okay, guys, we've got the bone meal and the Epsom salt mixed down into the soil, and it was mixed again when we mixed the perlite down in it. And uh, I'm going to show you a little test here, or Tina's going to demonstrate for you. Um, one thing we like to do is uh, we want to make sure that you can take your hand, point your fingers, and bury it into the soil without any effort. But uh, go ahead and pull it out and show them, do it one more time here. But just, you should be able to just bury your arm down through there once it, while the soil's dry. Now it'll compact a little when it's wet, but if you want to know if your soil's loose enough, you should be able to take your hand and just jam it straight into the soil without bending or breaking your fingers, and that'll give you a good idea whether your soil's loose enough to grow carrots in. Okay guys, we've got our growing medium already done. Now we need a planting layer, and these are the layers we were talking about. But for that layer, we're gonna use potting mix. Now to get a carrot seed started, we always preach not to put nitrogen in your carrot bed, but to get a carrot seed started, you do need a little bit of nitrogen. We use potting mix because it has a lot of perlite and stuff in it too. It's not like garden soil that's real heavy. This is real light, it's mostly peat and perlite. But I want you to see that first number there, 0.1. That's all the nitrogen we're going to put into the bed. This isn't like 10, 10, 10. This is 0.1 nitrogen, the first number. So we're going to put in a layer of that, and that's going to be our planting layer. And that's enough nitrogen to get the seeds going and get the carrots started until they can reach down there for the phosphorus that they need. Okay, guys, Tina's getting this planting layer put on top of the bed here. And we don't mix that down in. We don't want the nitrogen down in the soil. It, some, you know, some of it will leach down there, but there's very little in it, so we're hoping it doesn't leach too deep. And uh, because of the nitrogen, that can cause you to have the hairy carrots that we've talked about in the past. But uh, you don't want the you don't want the roots, tap roots and stuff, coming out of the side of the carrot looking for nitrogen. They'd love to have it, but you want to deny them that, so they grow a big root instead of a big top. But uh, we'll get this on here. And then what we're going to do is put in some half inch deep planting holes and here's the spacing we're going to use. That's it. We're going to cover the entire surface in the box in holes, half inch holes that far apart. I'll bring you back when we get closer to that. All right guys, we punched this box all full of holes and uh, you wonder this is how we, we don't really count the holes, but this is how we average about 250, 200, 250 carats a box. But uh, we punch individual holes. It takes a little bit longer. You could use a dibble. Um, if you don't know what that is, go ahead and Google it. It's a, it'll make the holes for you in even spacing. Ours aren't even, we just finger poke them. So Tina's got some uh, pelleted seeds here. Let me get you a look at those. Those are pelleted carrot seeds. We'll go two seeds to a hole 
And she's been doing some planting here, but we'll have her go ahead and throw some more in. And But we'll go two seeds to a hole. These seeds have a really good germination rate. And a lot of times we end up with two. But uh, we've got the spacing down good enough. We wait till the carrots are about two inches tall. And then we come back through and thin them. But uh, we'll just get it down to the strongest one, whichever one's taller at the time. We cut the shorter one off with the tip of a pair of scissors. But uh, she'll go ahead and get these planted, and then we'll show you how we cover them. We'll be right back. Okay, guys, we've got all our holes planted now. And uh, one thing we hear a lot from a lot of people is that, you know, I planted carrots, but they just didn't come up. And a common practice is to, when you see people... Uh, planting carrots, they'll cover them with sand. And I think we talked in the other soil video about black cow being mostly sand. So our, uh, they want no resistance. That's, a, that's one of the things that keeps carrots from coming up is they meet any kind of resistance. If they're, if they're slow to come up, they rot off real easy because they're real fine like a fern. But uh, what we do is we, we use a black cow and we put it on in just a, just a paper thin layer. You see Tina just working it on here real easy but uh, that's all you really need to do the p seeds are pelleted if you're using pelleted seeds the seeds are pelleted so they already have a hundred percent soil contact which is another problem with carrots getting good soil contact a lot of people will pack the ground and then that makes it hard for them to come up but uh, with a pelleted seed you already have full contact with the soil so you can just uh, give them a light covering keep the sun off of them and it uh, gives them just a tiny bit more nitrogen, but you notice we're keeping all this nitrogen on top. That'll help grow the top of the plant, you know, and um, give it a little bit of a boost to take off. But once that plant gets underground, all it's gonna have is that phosphorus and calcium and magnesium that we put in that bottom layer. So we'll go ahead and finish this up and then we'll talk a little bit more. All right, guys, we've kind of come full circle with this layering system. Now the carrots are all in there and they've been covered with the black cow or sand. I just tend to refer to it as sand. But uh, it's, been, it's been covered up and uh, the carrots will grow. Then the next year, like our carrot harvesting video, that nice dark soil over there will be depleted in the sun and bleached out. It'll look light like this. And when you pull your carrots at the end of the season, you'll pull that perlite back up from underneath. That's what you see laying there on top. We harvested this bed in the other video. But uh, you'll see that perlite come back to the surface again. And that's where this video started, with stirring that down, adding the phosphorus, adding the magnesium. But uh, we've kind of come full circle. Now we'll show you how we get these watered in, and we got another little trick. But we'll be right back to you. Okay, guys, you can probably see now that the soil is soaking wet. What we've done is we have saturated this bed using a really fine mist from the hose so you don't disturb much. But uh, we have saturated the bed and uh, it is wet deep. And Tina now, she's covering the bed with newspaper. You wanna make sure they overlap just a little bit. You don't want too much light getting through to the soil. But uh, maybe you can read about our local basketball team. But uh, we're gonna cover the entire surface of this bed and then we're gonna come back over it with the hose and we're gonna wet this newspaper and uh, that'll hold it down in the wind and uh, we won't uh, we won't water this bed except to keep the newspaper wet for five days it'll stay like this for five days then we'll remove the newspaper and we'll let that get in and what that does is that helps hold the moisture in there enough to soak through those clay pellets and uh, let that carrot on out of that pellet and get it going so we got a we got about five days wait now we'll uh Keep these covered and we'll keep this newspaper wet and then uh we'll be uh we'll be ready to go we'll let these carrots rock on and uh see what they can produce for fall so hang on one second i'll be right back with you guys all right guys that's going to about wrap it up for today we hope you enjoyed the video we had a great time making it that's how you set up your carrot beds we don't want that nitrogen down in the growing medium we want that up on top for the carrots to use when they first take off then we want the sun to bleach it out of the soil so the carrots can grow in phosphorus and magnesium and calcium the way they're supposed to. But uh, we also want to make it as easy as we can for them to pop up out of the ground. And we want that top ground with that sand and stuff to drain really easy so they don't rot off either. So uh, we hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you would, please give it a thumbs up. 
and uh, leave us a comment down below. If you have any questions or comments, we'd sure like to hear them. If there's any videos you guys would like to see, we'd sure like to know about it. But uh, we've had a great time today, and uh, we hope you'll subscribe. Hit that uh, bell next to the subscribe button, too, and that'll uh, send you notifications whenever we release a new video. But uh, we're glad to have you guys here at the channel. We had a great time. We hope you did, too. We'll see you in the next one.